Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Oakland, California's Vastum Carnal Law. 20 buck spin records. Fuck yeah. Such a killer debut. Fucking full length. Absolutely essential death metal from the Bay Area. Can't go wrong with Vastum. Seriously. Like, one of my favorite bands ever. And Carnal Law happens to also house one of my favorite Vastum and death metal tracks maybe ever. And that is track two, remember? I fucking just love it. Everything about that song. From the just... Oh my god. Just... If you've never heard Vastum Carnal Law, check it out and just listen to Remember and you'll see exactly why I feel it's like pretty much one of the most perfect examples of modern death metal. Just done so fucking right and I love it. It's absolutely crushing. Oh, so good. I fucking love Vastum. And hopefully we have some new material in the works. I don't know, but all I do know is today we're going to be going over another Blood Harvest Records release. Thanks to John Randall for sending us over. And this is Nocta Mabulis with Atmospheres of Desolation from the mountains of Denver, Colorado. Limited to 100 copies on cassette. I know they still have vinyl available. But uh, what we have here is something kind of strange. And what I mean by strange is this legitimately sounds like it could have came out in 2006. And if this would have came out in 2006, maybe I would have been a bigger fan of this release than I was, as all this kept reminding me of was mid-2000s death metal, but like of the technical variety, mostly from the Montreal scene and mostly Naraxis. Musically, I kept hearing fucking totally like straight out of Quebec technical death metal from the early mid 2000s and it sounded a hell of a lot like Naraxis trilateral progression from 2005 but with Nate Johnson on vocals. And if you don't know who Nate Johnson is, he originally did vocals in a metalcore act called Deadwater Drowning. Then he did vocals on a Premonitions of War release. They had a crowbar kind of worship band called Buck Hunter. And then he ended up doing vocals on a band some of you may recognize the name of Through the Eyes of the Dead on their second full-length, Malice. So, I'm going to insert a clip of his vocals here. Alright, so now let me throw on Knock the Mabulus, and you can compare the two. Alright, now, you might be like, that sounds nothing the fuck alike, but in my ears, I hear something that's kind of, you know, more remnant of something I would have picked up in 2006, more than, you know, something from 2019. But within the whirlwind of, you know, technicality and chaos, 
lies some amazing drumming. The drumming on here is worth the price of admission alone. And some of the riffs on here are super fucking cool. The vocals, like I said, they're kind of weird. Like, they go from, you know, good cop, bad cop. It, it's just not really my cup of tea. And, uh, knock them a bullist. This band definitely, you know, they've been around since 2016. This is their debut full length, so they do have room to expand their sound. Just this didn't really do too much for me. And not everything can be, you know, fucking Star Spawn. And this just, I would rather listen to, you know, something along the lines of Cathelist, Demilic, Nucleus, Vector. There's just so many technical death metal bands that I, like, really, you know, am into. Artificial Brain. Hell, fucking Time Ghoul. But this just, you know, kind of sounded more along the lines of, like, metalcore than it did death metal. Even though I knew what they were going for, but it just... I don't know. It just, to me, sounded like something that would have been more considered death metal in 2005, 2006, where now it kind of feels like a relic of the past, which is kind of cool because nobody really sounds like Naraxis anymore or bands along those lines, which this really, really reminded me of musically. Vocally, like I said, it really sounds like Nate Johnson on vocals, and uh, I'll do it. I did the comparison, so I mean, again, that's just my ears and what they hear. But some of you are going to absolutely love Atmospheres of Desolation by Knock the Mobulist. Trust me, like, if you're a fan of technical death metal, chances are you're gonna find something to love about this release, like, especially like fucking. Jubilant Cataclysm, that track is badass in general, and yeah, sick artwork, and just a pretty decent release on Blood Harvest Records, just not something I would really go out of my way to listen to, but I know that some of you out there that like technical death metal will definitely find something to enjoy about Atmospheres of Desolation. I just wish it actually had more atmosphere to desolate, but this is mostly kind of your run-of-the-mill technical death metal band. And, you know, I don't really like being too negative on here, but that's the fucking truth, and I'm gonna stick to it. Knock the Mobulist, Atmospheres of Desolation on... Blood Harvest Records, pretty much, if you like Suffering Hour, replace their vocals with a kind of more, what's up, like, hey, like, with a kind of more yelly, hardcore-ish vocals, you know, something like this, but deeper, I, I don't really know how to even put my finger on it, but the vocals on here, just didn't really do it for me, but the drumming on here is absolutely great. And some of the riffs that exist within here are awesome as well. Just, I feel like it's a little too all over the place and just didn't really do it for me. But like I said, these Denver death metal maniacs might have something for you to enjoy. So check it out. Knock the Mobulist, Atmospheres of Desolation on Blood Harvest Records. Thank you, John, for sending this over. And we were blasting the mighty Vastum Carnal Law on 20 Bucks Spin Records. Fuck yeah. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hell 